Mom and Dad, when you see this ladder, I've already left this world. I hope you, you're not too sad. Because you never care about me. You don't really know what I want or what I like. You didn't even know what happened to me. You just care about your money and your business. I hate school. I hate this place and I hate everyone. Those people only bully me. No one cares about me. No one loves me. It's time to say goodbye now. I love you, Mom and Dad. Paul. Don't jump. Don't jump. You won't like the feeling. The water is freezing. It's gonna make you feel like you're being stabbed by hundreds of knives. Then you're gonna sink into water. And trust me, there is nothing worse than drowning. Don't leave me alone. No one cares about me and I don't want to live in this fucking world anymore. I'm not trying to stop you. But there are hundreds of ways you can kill yourself that are less painful than this. Well, how do you know that? When I was a kid, I fell into water. I almost died. I know the feeling. Come here. Yeah, and this is the story of my life. <laughs> and that's why you want to kill yourself? Well, that's not even funny. What are you laughing at? It is! They bully you and you're trying to get out of it by dying. Well, what am I supposed to do? You need to fight back. Wait, follow me. Where are you going? Great. Hold this. Where are you going? Hey guys. Fucking asshole. So, what do you want to do after high school? I have no clue. You? Go to college and live this dumb place. Where do you want to go? I don't know yet, but... 
It needs to be somewhere big. I'm definitely gonna be somebody. I also wanna travel. I wanna go to Tokyo. I wanna go to Paris and honestly, I wanna go everywhere. That's nice. I know you can make it. So, you wanna go with me? Let's get out of here. Let's leave this place and never come back. That's a good idea, but I think we should sleep on it. Can we talk about this later? Yeah, sure. I want to go hiking tomorrow. Do you want to go together? Yeah, I will like that. Good night, Paul. Good night, I know. come to this place. Looking down at the endless ocean makes me feel like all my emotions go away. You know, humans are so small compared to nature. It makes it seem like all our problems are so tiny. Yeah. They are. There are obstacles in our lives, but if we see them from different perspectives, they don't seem to matter. And just as the ocean is a mix of peace and chaos, so can life be. Thank you, Anna. Nobody ever told me this before. I'm so grateful to have you in my life. You know, Paul, I... I think you're gonna be somebody in the future. You're gonna be the eagle that soars in the sky. And I want to be there to see it. Your hair is very beautiful. Thank you.
What are you thinking about? Nothing. Just thinking how cute you are. <laughs> really? I think I really like you. I think I like you too. You're like my best friend. So, um, do you want to go with me? Like, go somewhere only for us? I think it's too soon to talk about that. We still have time. Okay, um, I was just kidding. Paul, promise me no matter what happened, you won't ever hurt yourself again. And that you're gonna achieve all your dreams. Okay? Okay. I, I promise. Hi Paul, sorry about leaving without saying goodbye. You might think I'm selfish, but I know this is good for both of us. I'm sorry I lied to you. I didn't tell you that I actually have cancer. I was afraid to tell you earlier because I don't know if you can accept that. It's in the third stage and I've been doing chemo, but I couldn't bear to hurt you if I got worse. I don't want you to see me like this. My doctor wanted to send me to another hospital in a different city, and I was afraid to go. So I escaped from the hospital to the ocean, and that's where I met you. Uh -huh. Thank you for coming into my life. Thank you for giving me so much hope. This was the best weekend I've ever had. And it's all thanks to you. I believe one day we will reunite. Because I finally have someone to care about in this world. I love you, Paul. Goodbye. Thank you.